In this video, we look at the kind of relationships you can have between real numbers and ways that we can express this mathematically. The number line that we've seen in another video suggests that the real numbers conform to some sort of order, and that's quite true. The real numbers are an ordered set of numbers. Now, you might be familiar with some symbols which we use to relate numbers to each other, things like uh, the less than symbol and the greater than symbol, but here's a full set for us to look at now. So we've got six of them. Uh, the easiest one to think about is the equal to symbol, which I'm sure we've all seen. One that you might not have seen is the equal symbol with a line through it, a stroke through it. And that just means that two things, the one thing on the left and the thing on the right, are not equal to each other. Uh, a few others, though. We've got the greater than symbol, which you can see kind of points towards the positive end or the bigger end, if you like, of the number line. And the less than symbol, which of course points in the opposite direction. Now, if we kind of combine those with equals, uh, we get what are these two symbols, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to symbol. And as you work through uh, some more advanced things, you'll see how each of these can be useful uh, in its own way in different contexts. Let's have a look in a bit more depth about what these things, these symbols of inequality and equality mean. What exactly do you think A greater than B means? Okay, you can have a think about it for a moment, but if you like, we can just keep going. Um, one way to think about this A greater than B statement is just to say it, A is greater than B. Um, another way you might think about it is to look at the difference between the two numbers, A minus B. If A is greater than B, then A minus B will be bigger than zero, or in other words, a positive number. Or even, if you want to switch it around, B is less than A. So B minus A would be something, a negative number, less than zero. But something else we might do is to draw ourselves a number line using something we've seen in a different video. Now remember on a number line we might have a, a zero, an origin point there, but if we're talking about the statement A is greater than B, we could put on this number line, forget about the origin, and just go completely general. We can just put in our two numbers, B and A, and we can see there that A is to the right of B on the number line, so A is greater than B. And that's just another way of, well, visually representing that statement. Okay, so what about this next one? What about A, and remember this one is less than or equal to B. A is less than or equal to B. Well, essentially it means either or, or we're not quite sure. A could be a number less than B, or A could be the same number as B. They could be equal to each other. If we want to think about this in the sense of uh, the difference between the two numbers, we might write something like A minus B is going to be less than or equal to zero. Now think about why that might be. If A is less than B, and we take away B from A, we're going to get a negative value. On the other hand, if A and B are the same thing, then A minus B would of course be equal to zero. So A minus B is less than or equal to zero. Now another thing you might see sometimes written is this little statement here where we've kind of combined a couple of things. We've got A is less than C is less than B. What do you think that might mean? Have a bit of a think about that for a moment. We can think about it a couple of ways. We can kind of put two statements together. A is less than C, and C is less than B. We can think about it like that. Or you might want to think about it as a sort of a in the middle situation. C is in the middle of A and B. So it's bigger than A, but it's less than B. And again, a nice way to do this is to have a look at a number line. So if we just drew out our number line here, heading off towards infinity in both directions, and we've got to say that a is less than C, so we might put C there, A being less than, it must be off to the left, and C is less than B, so C must be to the left of B. So we can see this sort of situation coming up. A is less than C, C is less than B, and C sits in the middle of the two. So we sometimes use that notation as well. It's kind of a shorthand of the two uh, inequality statements. All right, let's check out some examples. What you might want to do is pause the video now and see if you can fill in the gaps yourself here. Fill in the spaces below with less than, greater than, or equal to, to make the relationships true for each of these six statements. So maybe pause, have a go yourself, and then join back in and listen to me take you through it. All right, let's take it one at a time. We've got here nine and ten. Well, nine is, well, it's certainly not equal to, nine is less than ten. So we can fill that one in nine less than 10. 
The next one, 3 and 3.1, thinking about where they sit on a number line, we'd have uh, 3 would sit about here. 3.1 is a bit more than that, so it's over there. So we can say that 3 is less than also 3.1. Now minus 9 and minus 10. On the surface of 9 and 10, 9 looks less than 10, but remember these are negative numbers. So if we've got our number line, something like this, and we go minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to minus 9, we've got to keep going to get to minus 10. So minus 10 is to the left of minus 9, so that means minus 9 is greater than minus 10. All right, this next one here, we've got a couple of symbols that you might not have seen. So these vertical lines around a number, the vertical lines, those are called absolute value lines. Now, what do they mean? Well, absolute value just means the magnitude of the number or the number without its sign. So the absolute value of 2 is just 2, but the absolute value of minus 2, that's the number without its sign, is 2 as well. So the absolute value of 2 and the absolute value of minus 2, they're the same thing. So we're going to say that those are equal to each other. Now this next one here, in E, we've got the negative of the absolute value of negative 5. Well, the absolute value of negative 5 is 5, but then we've got this extra negative sitting out the front. So we're going to have minus 5. And minus 5, of course, is less than 5. Finally, we've got minus 4 and 6 on that number line. Minus 4 is off to the left of the origin, and 6 is over here on the right. So, of course, minus 4 is less than 6. Okay, so that is a little bit about relating the real numbers. In this video, we've seen that the real numbers are a set of numbers that have an order to them. There's a, there's a relationships, less than, equal than, equal to, and greater than. Uh, we can order real numbers in some way. We've also seen some of the symbols that we use to describe these relationships, the less than, greater than, and equal to symbols, and also how you might look at um, relating numbers using those symbols and number lines.